How's it going guys? Thank you so much for the views and the likes I got on my recent videos uh, where I showed off what, what I talked about what your favorite voodoo spell says about you and what your favorite mojo item says about you. You guys clearly like those videos a lot and I appreciate the support you got uh, that you gave. <laughs> so today I have a very similar video. Um, what your favorite hat says about you in Booga Booga. Now there's actually a lot of hats in Booga Booga Reborn. So I'm going to do this in two parts and today we're doing part one with the first, with the first 20 hats on the list. So the first one, if you like the Iron Mole hat, what that probably says about you is that you just started playing Booga Booga and you saw some people with some cool hats, but because you just started playing, you don't have enough coins to get any good hats, so you just bought the cheapest one, which is the Iron Mole. Same thing for the Dark Wanderer. If you, if you use this hat, again, you probably are pretty new and you bought the second cheapest hat in the game, which is also just 200 coins. However, the Dark Wanderer is a little bit more appealing than the Iron Mole. So you thought, well, I don't want to buy the Iron Mole, so I'll just buy this one because it's a little bit cooler. If you like the Dark Wraps hat, what that probably says about you is a very similar thing. You wanted to buy a cool hat, but you didn't have that much coins, and you think that the Dark Wraps is a little bit better than the Dark Wanderer because it's a little bit more expensive, so if you buy that one, it's a little bit better than just buying the Dark Wanderer. Now, if you like the honor hat, what that says is you probably want a nice hat, but you prefer spending coins on other things like items like in the market or you prefer buying chests. The honor hat and the valor hat and the glory hat, uh, honor, valor, and glory are very good looking, but they're very cheap. So if you like the honor hat, the valor hat, or the glory hat, what that says about you is that you want a cool hat, but you don't like grinding gold. And if you do like grinding gold, you just prefer spending it on resources rather than aesthetic choices. Now, if you like the Fangs hat, what that says about you is you probably like medieval aesthetics. You probably like Vikings, barbarians, stuff like that. The Fangs hat is very barbarian-esque, and it's about 800 coins, so it's not that expensive, but it's not that cheap. So the Fangs hat, if you like that, it probably means that you just like medieval hats and Stuff like that. Now, if, if your favorite hat is the Dark Skull hat, what that says about you is that you like uh, assassins, you like thieves, you like dark characters like that. And you probably also, if you like the Dark Skull, you probably started out with the Dark Wanderer or the Dark Raps, but you upgraded to the Dark Skull once you had enough money. If you like the Mammoth Hunter mask or the Bull has ma the Bull, if you like the the Mammoth Hunter or the Bull, probably the same thing as the Fangs hat. You enjoy kind of Vikings and barbarians, and you you like them enough that you're gonna spend a thousand coins on an aesthetic hat, which kind of fits like the whole you know um, gruesome barbarian vibe. Now, if you like the Daimyo or the Daimyo hat, you probably like uh, pirates. It's a pretty close-looking hat to pirates. Kind of looks like a samurai hat. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks like a pirate hat or maybe a samurai hat. So I'm gonna guess if you like that hat, you just straight up like pirates or you like samurais. Now, an interesting one. If you like the Am Shelly hat, what that means is you really enjoy Booga Booga. You enjoy Booga Booga so much that you're willing to spend 2,000 coins on a hat that's pretty much just a joke hat to make yourself look like a Shelly, which is a cool animal exclusive in Booga Booga. If you like the Pilgrim hat, what this probably says about you is that you're an OG Booga player who remembers back in the day when this came out. I believe this was actually originally a Thanksgiving hat, which made it exclusive back in the day. If you like the Pilgrim hat, you like having exclusive items, you like Thanksgiving, and you like OG Booga Booga. Now, if you like the Golden Hood hat, what that probably says about you is that you're a god player, and you really like having yellow slash golden uh, helmets. However, you don't want to get any other ones like the Golden Shelly or the Golden God. And the Golden Hood is pretty much, it's, it's sort of similar to the Golden God. However, it's like a hundred times cheaper for only 2,000 coins. Now, if you like the Am Peeper hat, what that says about you is you are probably a very sweaty player. I don't know what it is, but whenever I fight somebody, who has the Am Peeper hat, I instantly get afraid because people with the Peeper hats are always super sweaty 
They're super into PvP, they're really good at PvP, they will always kill you, and they'll do it with no remorse. If you like the Am Peeper hat, again, you're probably the kind of guy who's really committed to Booga Booga. You probably kill people on sight for no reason without even saying anything. And you just like killing people and being aggressive. Now if you like the golden pilgrim hat, it's probably the same thing as the pilgrim hat. You like Thanksgiving, you like Halloween, you like uh, the whole fall aesthetic. Y your, fa your favorite season is probably fall. However, you want to go a little bit more stylish. You like the pilgrim hat, but you want it to be golden because you like golden stuff. Now, if your favorite hat is the Am Scavenger hat, what that probably says about you is that you actually don't like the Scavenger hat, you probably want to get one of the other ant hats. Usually, if you like the ant hats, you probably want fire ants, black ants, white ants, queen ant. If you like the ant hats, you probably don't like the Scavenger ant. However, if you do like the scavenger ant, what that probably says about you is that you want to have a different one, but it's too expensive, so you bought the cheapest ant hat, and you're happy with that. Now, if you like the am penguin or the am turtle hat, both of those at the same time, I'm gonna say if you like those, then you're probably an, uh, a, a, a new gen booga player. You probably didn't play booga booga back when it was made by soybean. However, you do play Booga Reborn, and you probably like Booga Reborn more than you like OG Booga Booga. The reason I say this is because penguins and turtles did not exist in OG Booga Booga. So if you like these two hats, you probably like the new Booga Booga, you know, Booga Reborn. You're probably a new gen player who doesn't really play back in the day. And you like the new animals. Now, the last hat for today, the last goodbye. An awfully fitting one. Now, if you like the last goodbye, what that tells me about you is that you're a pretty badass person. Funnily enough, the last goodbye is the only hat in Booga Booga that is not actually a hat. It's just two shoulder blades with spikes on them. You're probably a very badass player, and you probably like the underrated hats, because this one is pretty underrated. So if you like this, you probably like looking unique, you like looking like badass, and you like having things that not everybody else has. You also probably like barbarians, and you like vikings, and stuff like that. But anyways, that's the last hat for today's video. Next video, we're gonna go over the black ants, the banto, the adorite shelly, the Squishy the Squid, we're gonna go over the Queen Ant, the High Class, the Golden Guard, and a ton, ton more. So if you want to see what those hats says, it says about you, do stick around, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome, and peace out.